What is up, beautiful people? How are you? It's your boy Tim here, aka Human Timothy. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Just out in near Matlock in the Peak District, in Stanton Moor, by the Nine Ladies Stone Circle, some 4,000 year old megalithic uh, structure, rocks, some pebbles put in a circle basically. A few years ago, ancestors did it, you know what I mean? Just having a stroll and I uh, thought I'd come talk to you guys a little bit, you know, about our feet, our feet and shoes. I've been on and off wearing barefoot, they call it barefoot footwear, but like Vibrams and Vivos, it's not barefoot, but you know, fair play to them, it's, it's close, but I think the most important part of barefoot is skin to ground connection because that's what makes you really tread lightly that's what makes you really engage the quad muscles the glutes the calves the ankles all start to walk when it's tender underfoot you tread lightly and you engage muscles that we completely lose now you've got to think what happens when you put say you break your arm hypothetically and you put a cast on your arm to support it so that it's not active so that it can heal what happens to your muscles muscles atrophy so the cast to stabilize the arm for the process of healing ends up making the muscles deteriorate but that's all part of it it's, you know it's better to heal and, and let the arm have its space so it's the same with shoes the more stable the shoes as Ido Portal says I've got to give it to him high-tech shoes low-tech feet the more stable this is gorgeous by the way the more stable the shoes the more the muscles are going to atrophy in the feet and they're not going to be able to do and act the way they were designed. Now, you might look like a weirdo, but it's whether you, whether you mind or not, depending on where you do it. And you can't just make the switch because with this information, it might appear logical, but your body has got a certain memory and history that you have to respect. So you can't just go throw out all the shoes and I'm going to wear these I'm gonna go barefoot or in barefoot shoes, barefoot shoes everywhere I go, like the Vibrams and the, the Five Fingers. If you've been wearing a shoe with an eight millimeter heel drop and then suddenly you go zero, you might have some issues with your calf. So you've got to respect the process. It's taken me years to be able to get to a place where I feel like I can recover and train effectively, constantly with zero drop shoes. So this is cool. What I'd say is, start looking into it or if you already have try and do some actual barefoot barefoot that's where the gains are made with the actual barefoot find some walks you can do this little weird pass but yeah the shoes we wear to stabilize our feet end up weakening our feet and as i always says how does this as i always says as i say often when we lose a part of the physical what does this affect transcending the physical to the emotional and the spiritual and the mental state? Just like I'm circumcised for hygienic reasons when I was younger, that's saying that there was a mistake made in my creation and that I, don't, I shouldn't have this hood on my manhood. And I always wonder how that affects us and I've looked into it and I've got some answers that may be true or may not be, we don't know. But how does that affect me emotionally and spiritually to not have this layer that was created that was in my that was made naturally for me and we've just decided oh it's, there's a lot there's a logic or some, maybe it's not logic but there's you know claiming some scientific reason why we we should get rid of this it's the same with feet and with shoes now of course we don't live in a natural environment anymore within cities and, and these matrixes so yes it may be strange or hard to go barefoot and may seem unnatural so there are solutions we actually and this isn't an advert but i may as well get it in i always roll with my tread light shoes and i can barefoot then if i need to if my feet get sore as it's icy and cold i've got a little layer i wouldn't call them barefoot shoes minimal shoes maybe thin layer on them but they just pack into there 
don't know what they are doing, some mining around here. It's a peaceful walk. And they're just hammering some quarry over there. But yeah, look out for your feet. Listen to them, respect them. If you want to go back to nature, respect the process that it will take of undoing, of years of undoing of all the shoes we've been wearing. But when I'm training and I'm doing me, me lifting and CrossFit and that, sometimes I wear stable shoes and sometimes I wear barefoot shoes. I want to build the muscle from the root. I want to strengthen my toes. I want to get my toe strength back and it's coming. My big toes are getting stronger and that is transcending up into my calves. When you think when you wear the heel stacks, your gastro gastrocnemius and your soleus, the muscles at the back of the calf, they glue together because if your heel lifts up, the calf doesn't need to be as long, so it shortens, they glue together. It gives you pelvic tilt. Now, when you walk barefoot, you notice, especially on a rougher terrain, and you're treading lightly, you're really engaging the pelvis a lot more, and the, the, the glutes around the sides. And you're actually building the human body out it's meant to be. So you can be like a goat in the mountains, just shooting up. Checking out the bird's nest. Anyway, that was about it from me. I just wanted to talk on that real quick. Whoa. Get your feet out, connect. I mean, that's, for me, that's the logical science that I can explain verbally and understand without needing science. You can go into the deep science of it all, which is, you know, the electromagnetic frequencies from Wi-Fi's and phones and laptops, ionizing our bodies, which coagulates the blood, which makes it inefficient and it makes it inflammatory. And then when you connect with the earth, grounding as they call it, you can release, the ions can negatively flow out of you or well, the negative ions flow out of you back into the earth and then your blood can flow freely and it's really anti-inflammatory. But you need science devices and gadgets and all sorts for that. I feel like it's pretty obvious and logical. High-tech shoes, low-tech feet. The more crutches you build, the less muscles need to work, the weaker the feet become. Do you want your feet to atrophy or do you want them to win you a trophy? New tracks is out now, ethics.com. Peace.